Hugh Hayden's sculpture, American Dream, is perhaps one of the most direct responses to John Quincy Adams' words as the freedman. And that's because using a 3D scan of the original sculpture, Hugh reimagined and, and recreated the freedman in a 2023 context. So no longer is he sitting on a stump and enchained, here he's sitting on an Adirondack chair in flip-flops, cargo shorts, and a really nice shirt, basking in leisure and reimagined as a liberated and freed person. This is the epitome of the American dream for the enslaved who were emancipated in 1863 and, and later on, depending on where they were in the United States. And it was very important for us to try to put this recreation and reimagining of the freedmen in conversation with a very important icon used by abolitionists throughout the 19th century to rally those to their cause. And you can see it in the broadside just behind me. This broadside by John Greenleaf Whittier is an example of many that were very prolific throughout the 19th century. They used this figure who is kneeling and enchained and is pleading, am I not a man and a brother? This representation of African Americans as enslaved and pleading for freedom is one that has been reinterpreted and understood as demeaning, um, although its creation and use was meant to be the exact opposite. And so putting this historical example of an abolitionist symbol and use of a figure to attempt to rally those to the abolitionist cause in conversation with a modern recreation and reimagining of what emancipation might actually look like is fascinating and it's one of the many conversations that's going on throughout the gallery between historic works and contemporary responses.